This is how you start a backpacking trip. First of all, look at this. Backpacking at a casino and... Hey, I'm Chef Corso. When we're cooking trail tacos in the parking lot. Because why wouldn't you start your trip, one, in the parking lot of a off-strip hotel, but also making up trail tacos before we head into Zion. <laughs> okay, I'm in Zion National Park right now. Met a guy that I brought uh, backpacking. Just met him out here. Um, his name is Chef Corso. He's right over there. He is a classically trained chef, no joke, who cooks backcountry meals. Like, that is his specialty. I wasn't sure what I wasn't sure what to expect, so I brought a few freeze-dried meals. I mean, just in case. I'm gonna set up the camera because my arm's gonna get tired. Is that cool? It sounds great. Okay. Okay, so you um, you make, uh, I feel like I'm way <laughs> shorter than you. <laughs> the packaged meals are easy. All you have to do is boil water. They're really lightweight. You throw the water in there, you wait a few minutes, and you got dinner. But they really aren't that satisfying. Okay, so I like easy. Mm -hmm. So like if I'm, if it's overcomplicated or I, I just want to know, like, I got a trip coming up. I want to eat good, yes, but I want to know, like, is this going to be a lot of, do I, do I have to get to camp early? Is this going to take me hours to cook? And so all recipes are 10 ingredients or less, ready in 30 minutes or less. And wait, all, so, wait, I'm sorry, what? And a lot of them are the same weight or just a little bit more than a standard package meal. Okay, so before we even came on this trip, um, I asked him um, if he knew how to cook uh, beef stroganoff because that's my favorite like but one of my favorite backpacking meals and it turns out it's like one of his like his things his beef stroganoff so what are we what are we cooking right we're cooking beef stroganoff we're cooking beef stroganoff will you hear that we are cooking beef stroganoff tonight so we got everything right in here we already packed it up two mustard packets so you might be thinking mustard and stroganoff that's super crazy but what this is going to do is give us a little bit of kick and a little bit of freshness at the end a couple half and half milk containers from the hotel last night. And we're just gonna put it right in the pot. And I've got a standard chimney style stove here. The other thing we've also gotten here is some bouillon cubes. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in there as well. I love using jerky as an actual protein rather than just a snack. It actually hydrates really, really well in soups. And you're cooking on a jet boil. Uh, this, this is an MSR wind burner. Oh, but... oh I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, jet boil. <laughs> but please forgive me. But this totally works with the jet boil or any other style of, of chimney style stove. But if you do have a smaller capacity pot, like 300 mil, 500 mil, just go ahead and cut the uh, portion down and you can easily just make one for yourself. Also, what we've got here is actual fresh mushrooms. You can easily use dried too, but fresh mushrooms will last for multiple days. Really? Yeah. Well, you, when you think about it, they grow outside, they grow in the dirt. We're just really taking them home. I totally just realized that. <laughs> what? We are bringing the mushrooms back to their But we don't mean, we're not picking mushrooms out here though. We're not foraging. We are today. not That's foraging whole mushrooms. That's another video. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a video for this channel. I wish you guys could be here to smell this. Oh my it's gosh, it smells so good. Really starting to smell like beef. Also, I did use the... That's good, because it's beef stroganoff. It is beef stroganoff. But so. I, I did use the peppered flavor of beef stroganoff, which really helps flavor our broth here. I feel like this is my microphone. I literally just asked him um, how I'm going to eat this, like because he's cooking it in one pot here. He brought two bowls. Oh, we're boiling. We're boiling. Nice. Okay, so um, I don't need my long-handled spoon. You don't need your long-handled spoon for, I mean, it still works as a spoon, but you don't need to dig to the bottom of your bag. Mm. Oh, it's hot. It's, it's mm. hot, it just came out of the stove. Mm. So good. Does it, does it hydrate okay? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's pretty amazing. When, when I first started testing jerky, I was surprised that it hydrated in only 10, 15 minutes. Um, mm. to be able to give some really good flavor. We've got a cold soak recipe that we need to prep for tomorrow. We need to prep it? 
we need to prep it because we need to have it ready for tomorrow. Oh, cold soak. We're going <laughs> to We're going to cold soak it. Okay, I like it. So this is called a power chia bomb. So if you guys like your ramen bomb, this is a power chia bomb. This has over a thousand calories, a bunch of great fiber, protein, and fat. So we've got an extra fat packet. Great extra calories, a little bit of honey or sugar. We've got hemp hearts, chia, nuts, dried fruit, and coconut milk powder. And all you have to do is throw a few ounces of water in here and give it a stir. And it'll be ready for breakfast tomorrow. Good morning. That was a <clears throat> really fast morning shot. I didn't even show you going to bed last night. <laughs> but it is morning. And it is like 20, it was like 25 degrees. Anyway, okay. So here's the Power Chia Bomb. Oh my gosh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that at all. What, what are you tasting? The date, for sure. I love dates. They're so good. Dates are super awesome. I don't know what that was. That was the nut that was in there. What kind of nuts are these? We got macadamia nuts. Macadamia today. nuts. Okay. We're, we're, we're going super fancy today. We are. Mm. Oh, wow. There's like so many things happening right now. This is literally like a party in my mouth. I'm not joking. Breakfast party in your mouth? Mm -hmm. well, what, I love, what I love about it too is it's really filling. And with this cold soak, it's an awesome breakfast for those. That's uh, right. We didn't cook it. We I didn't cook it. We, I forgot we didn't cook it. We, 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 <laughs> That's kind of nice. We cold soaked it last night. We're eating a Mediterranean grain bowl. Okay. So no great, no burner, no cook lunch. We put all of our ingredients right in this bag based on those prepackaged grain mixes that are available. And a tuna packet that just about everybody's taking along. Ways to jazz that up. So we've got some fresh green beans. We've got oh, cucumber, wow. baby tomatoes, oregano, a little bit of vinegar. Oh my so gosh. we just made this mixed salad. Oh my gosh. For can lunch. I, can I eat it? You can eat it now. Okay. Whoa, wow. And then for me, I like olives. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some olives to mine. Super great packable olives or pickles. Super cool, what? good option. You okay? Were you okay with this one? Yeah, lunch? dude. <laughs> I was not, exp I was, exp wow. That was like literal burst of flavor. He is whittling chopsticks. For dinner. For dinner. Because of course you need to eat pad thai with your campy chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, it's awesome. <laughs> yep, what do you think of this place? Check it out. Look at that view we got out there. Way out there, beautiful, huh? Okay, it's finally dinner time now, and uh, uh, Steve, AKA Chef Corso, um, <laughs> he's cooking pad thai. I'm waiting for the bad meal to happen, and it hasn't happened yet, so I've been pretty impressed so far. And the wind is horrendous, as you can probably hear it on the mic already so far. Um, there's a cliff right over there that, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, let me adjust the exposure, so there's a, Big, huge opening, a cliff, it's beautiful. I wish I could film over there, but I can't because the wind off there is just raging. So we're gonna do it without audio. I'm gonna show you what he's gonna make and then I'm gonna try it. So, here we go. Ready Let's, for dinner, Dan? I'm ready for dinner. Let's do this. You wanna make pad thai here? 
I, I would love to make pad thai here. <laughs> I don't think there's a better place to make pad thai than this right here. Wow. 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 There's a trail here. <laughs> oh my goodness. That has to be 40 or 50 stories tall. Oh, easily. Oh, easily. Wow. All right, back to the car, finally, after all that epicness. <laughs> I look forward to going back to the car. You know, usually there's water, some snacks, air conditioning. But we're trailgating it. We're making dirtbag Eggs Benedict. So you gotta toast up your muffs. Hollandaise actually comes in a handy packet. We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Man three, down. Three second roll. Three second roll. All right, that was an awesome trip. Steve, thanks so much for taking me. Um, I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, really, I don't even eat that good at home, honestly. I'm glad you liked it. It's great, great trip. So, uh, where can people find you? Uh, check out. <laughs> That's totally staying in the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check out montyboca.com for uh, all your recipes, handy pocket sized cookbooks, also Instagram at montyboca, and Facebook at Elevate Your Meals. And check out my YouTube channel, Chef Corso, where I go outside and cook amazing things in amazing locations. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, also subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.